Title, A Scientific Examination of Flexibility Differences Between Men and Women. Flexibility is a key component of physical fitness, essential for activities ranging from sports performance to daily mobility. Men and women differ significantly in flexibility, with women generally exhibiting greater flexibility than men across most joint movements. This essay examines these differences, analyzing the biological, anatomical, and physiological factors contributing to flexibility variants between the sexes. Additionally, it explores the role of hormones, muscle and connective tissue structure, and the impact of age and activity level on flexibility in both men and women. Understanding flexibility and its importance. Flexibility refers to the ability of joints and muscles to move through their full range of motion. This quality is crucial for injury prevention, efficient movement patterns, and functional capacity. Flexibility is influenced by joint structure, muscle elasticity, tendon and ligament composition, and neuromuscular control. Greater flexibility provides advantages such as improved performance in sports, better posture, and reduced risk of muscle strains. The differences in flexibility between men and women are evident in activities requiring range of motion, such as gymnastics, dance, and yoga, where women often outperform men due to their generally higher levels of flexibility. Biological and anatomical differences in flexibility. Joint structure and bone morphology. Women's joints generally have a broader range of motion than men's. This is partly due to differences in joint structure. For example, the hip joint is broader and more angled in women, allowing greater hip abduction and flexibility. Anatomically, women have a wider pelvis, which impacts the range of motion of the hip joint and lower body flexibility. Men tend to have longer bones and larger muscle mass around joints, contributing to a more restricted range of motion. The larger muscle mass provides stability, but can limit flexibility by creating muscle tension around the joints. Two connective tissue composition. Women's connective tissues, including tendons and ligaments, tend to be more pliable than those of men. This increased elasticity allows for a broader range of motion, but also means women may be more prone to joint laxity, which, in extreme cases, can increase injury risk. Men's connective tissues are generally stiffer due to higher levels of collagen cross-linking and lower elastin levels. While this provides stability and strength, it reduces flexibility compared to women. Three, muscle fiber composition. Women typically have a higher percentage of type 1 muscle fibers, which are more fatigue resistant and less likely to produce the tightness associated with type 2, fast twitch muscle fibers, which are more common in men. This contributes to greater flexibility in women, as type 1 fibers are less bulky and allow for smoother, more extended movements. Hormonal influences on flexibility. Hormones significantly impact flexibility, particularly in women. Estrogen, the primary female sex hormone is associated with increased collagen synthesis and affects connective tissue elasticity. 1. Estrogen and collagen elasticity. Estrogen enhances collagen production, making connective tissues more pliable, particularly in the ligaments and tendons. This is most evident during the menstrual cycle, where fluctuations in estrogen levels can temporarily increase joint laxity and flexibility in women. Research has shown that women tend to have peak flexibility levels during the ovulatory phase of the menstrual cycle when estrogen is highest. Conversely, lower estrogen levels, such as during menopause, lead to a reduction in flexibility. Two, testosterone and muscle mass. Testosterone, the predominant male sex hormone, increases muscle mass and stiffness in connective tissues, contributing to the relatively lower flexibility in men. Higher muscle density around joints creates additional tension and reduces range of motion. While testosterone does not inherently inhibit flexibility, its influence on muscle mass can indirectly limit flexibility, especially if stretching and flexibility exercises are not part of regular physical training. Neural and neuromuscular factors. Flexibility also depends on neural and neuromuscular control, where the central nervous system regulates the range of motion through the stretch reflex and proprioception. One, stretch reflex sensitivity. Studies show that men tend to have a stronger stretch reflex response, causing muscles to contract in reaction to stretching. This contraction limits flexibility and increases muscle stiffness. 
Women, on the other hand, have a less pronounced stretch reflex, which allows them to achieve deeper stretches and sustain flexibility. This difference could be due to variations in proprioceptive feedback and pain tolerance between men and women. Two, proprioceptive differences. Proprioception, or the body sense of position, plays a role in maintaining flexibility. Women have been shown to possess greater proprioceptive sensitivity in joints, which may allow for more controlled movements and enhanced range of motion. The brain's ability to signal muscles to relax or contract during a stretch can vary by sex, affecting flexibility. Women's greater proprioceptive sensitivity may help reduce resistance in muscle tissues, enhancing flexibility. The impact of age and physical activity on flexibility. Flexibility declines with age due to factors like reduced collagen elasticity, decreased hydration in tissues, and muscle stiffness. However, this decline affects men and women differently. One, age-related decline. Women tend to maintain flexibility longer than men, likely due to a combination of hormonal influence and lifestyle factors. However, postmenopausal women experience a faster decline in flexibility due to reduced estrogen, which affects collagen production and tissue elasticity. For men, the age-related loss of flexibility is more gradual, yet it is compounded by the loss of muscle elasticity and changes in muscle fiber composition. Two, effect of physical activity. Regular physical activity, particularly activities involving stretching, can mitigate flexibility loss in both men and women. Stretching exercises like yoga and dynamic flexibility routines help maintain elasticity in muscles and connective tissues. A study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that individuals who engage in regular stretching exercises experience less age-related flexibility decline. Although men may require more intensive flexibility training to achieve the same range of motion as women, consistency in such exercises can yield significant improvements in both sexes. Practical Applications and Recommendations Understanding these biological and physiological factors provides insights for designing flexibility training programs for both men and women. 1. Training Specificity for Men Men may benefit from incorporating dynamic and static stretching with an emphasis on muscle elongation and proprioceptive training to reduce stiffness.